Hello everybody, welcome back to the conclusion of Siberia. This is the fifth and final episode. We will finally see how this all comes to an end. Will we finally meet Hans? Will it just be a de another dead end after this? Um, in the last episode, Helena was trapped in that cage up above. Will we be able to escape with her? Will we save her? What's gonna happen with Kate? We'll find out very, very, very soon. This will probably be a short episode. But right now, let me set the mood. There we go. Mood set. Nice way for me to try out my new light. There we go. Let's continue on. Kate, help me. What is happening? What does this man want of me? He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there, and I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. Okay, let's go. Okay, so... We can't get out this way, this way, any old way. Can't get out. Darn it! Helena! What, was that a way of saying that I can't leave because I don't... She's not... Saved yet? I don't know. Wait, go back, Kate. I'm getting annoyed with you. Go up here. I don't. I don't remember from this point. I actually don't remember. Even though this is basically like kind of like the end, I just don't remember. This monorail is controlled from somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can't leave without her. I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. I can't go... Okay, let me just go back. Maybe go back to Helena. Or Helena. What is this? Wait, it doesn't matter. Never mind. Let me go back up there. Oh. Okay. So we have a screwdriver? This lock looks fairly solid. Okay. How about this? No? Oh, at last you Thank lady. God. I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry. Get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. So long, Helena. Well, she walks so dramatic, like, so slow. Yes, now I think we need the screwdriver. Here we go, we got Oscar's hands. Now it's time to leave. Oh no. Oh! But, my god! What has happened now? Oh, look up at the TV. Try, Miss Walker, but you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me and bring Madame Romansky back, or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm going to find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. I warned you, Kate Walker. I warned you. Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. Okay, I... This is the part I... Genuinely don't know if I remember or not. Nope, come on. It's a little lighter. Oh, 
I don't think I can go here anymore. No. Let me think what I can do. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, and it opened. Okay. So... Trying to think. Stupid phone. Oh. Oh, okay. Explosives. Yeah, okay, yeah, so something exploded here. Trying to think. Whoa, was that a glitch? I think that was a glitch. Yep, that's a glitch. There we go. Glitchy, glitchy. No, stop it, Kate. Kate, I'm gonna kick your ass. Okay. So we'll just keep going. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I just remembered. Okay. But anyway, look at her. Kate, see how she looks up at that thing? That looks like a ventilation duct. I wonder if she's been, like, doing that the whole time, giving me signs on what was the next thing to do when she looks at stuff. Okay. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I ran all the way- Oh, come on, Kate! Sorry if it's loud me yelling at her. It's driving me nuts. And what do you know? Watch, yeah. Yeah, and she looks up at it. So there we go. We're going up that way. So he ended up helping us get out, because he blew that up and it opened that up. I love how she went through that, but before with the very first episode with Momo, she wouldn't get that ore, because it was dirty. Here we go, we got the dynamite. I don't remember where we put the dynamite. So hopefully I remember soon. I'll forget and I'll put it on the wrong thing. <laughs> oh wait a minute, I bet you we put it on that foot. Oh, wait. oh let me read the test. Join Oscar at the station, duh. Find a bomb and destroy the giant. Alright, so we don't have the picture. Remember the picture and then it showed, um, the giant, the giant's foot, the bottom foot right over on this side that we're on right now being red? I think that's what it was for. Hi, Oscar. Oscar, I'm back. Let's get out of here. What a pleasure it is to see you again, Kate Walker. Please take your seat with Miss Helena in the carriage. She simply is a charming lady. She helped me screw my hands back on. I must inform you, though, that regulations make no provision for supplementary passengers. I hope that you still have your ticket for Arrowbad. <laughs> Oscar! Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent. Yep. I don't know if I corrected myself in the, um, last episode, but I remember I was saying Arrowbald. Is Arrowbad? Arrowbad? And I said Arrowbald or Arrowbald. 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 <laughs> Arrowbald, I think I said a few times. So, um... Yeah, my bad. It's Arrowbad. I'm actually getting ahead of myself. I'm supposed to do that after the cutscene. Come on, you fuckhead. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna go into the train. So, there we go. Time to go in. You may be okay, so here we go.
Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Are you alright? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess... It's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. No, oh, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, other than that, nothing new. I see. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Nothing to say? I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. It, it happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. I was so weak, so dumb. I just can't imagine how... I just can't... I can't imagine how you could ever forgive me. What a bastard I've been. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere in all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. What's happening to us, Kate? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk uh, about it when you get back if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. Big development right there. I mean, I knew it was coming, but big development nonetheless. I love how she says, um, old forgotten singer right next to Helena right there. I will kill you. That's kind of messed up. What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. That is a bit of a concern. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Okay, so now I think we go back out to talk to Oscar again. What is it this time? Large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue. The track is now completely blocked. But that's absolutely crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm going to see what I can do. Okay, so there we go. Come on, Kate. Just go with me here, Kate. Come on. Let's equip the dynamite. That's what this was for. I just had to trigger that conversation, I think. There we go. Now I put the dynamite on the leg. That's what the um, picture was for. I don't, I don't know if I've said it or Oscar, not. Oscar, oh. let's get the hell out of here. I'll be right back. Bye-bye. Message received. Full steam ahead. Okay, I'm back. Interesting, huh? And here we go, at the train station, and there's Oscar. Before I do that, I want to see if I need to wind this. I just like doing it, I think it's cool. I get a kick out of it, I think it's fun. It's kind of, it's really satisfying to me. Anyway, let's talk to Oscar. Hi, Oscar. He's finally outside. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. 
I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. Get a life, Oscar. Bye, Oscar. See you around, Oscar. I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. I do believe that is the last conversation we're going to have with Oscar for this game, so... Bye bye Oscar. Now let's go out here. And just for the sake of looking, this is where the airship was before. And it's gone now. So I uh, just like just wanted to show that. I'm not exactly sure why. And there's a fountain, no longer has detergent in it, that's nice. Oh yeah, and, and, and as you can see I put my regular light back on. I took the red off. That was just for, for fun during that time. That in the in the other town in the other place. I don't know if I need to talk to him actually, so I'm not going to. Well, she's out here. I don't think I can go out there yet without this. I don't need to do that again. Oh, I don't. Okay, cool. Here and see what's going on. Come on. Oh, come on, Kate. Kate. So she's not here, so I don't know where Helena is. Okay. Mm. And then you look at that, that's where the, um... Actually, that's not the airship, so... That's something new, a new development. So let's go backwards and... See what that's about. I don't know if we have to talk to this guy, but I'm gonna talk to this guy to see if it triggers anything. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? Um, mission, well, I guess? Well, I'm gonna hit the road again. Oh, uh, would it be too much to ask where you're going? Who can say? Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. I'm leaving now, Mr. Felix. I guess so. See you again, yeah. Miss Walker. Okay, I guess I didn't have to, I guess. Oh, I wanna go back out and talk to Oscar, I guess. So yeah, so I get so we're done with um Helena and we're done with all of this. So let's talk to Oscar and move on. Come on, here we go. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Oh, yeah, wait, uh, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy. But there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. Okay, let's go get it. Race ya. Something tells me he's already in there. He's already in there. Gaming magic. 
Where's the package? You said it was at the reception, right? Right here, okay. Look at that, everybody! A mammoth! A mammoth automaton. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but... There we go. Get out of... Uh, oh! Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dineros. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo-jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Let's be lucky if she has a job at the end of this. More phone calls. Oh, the phone's ringing. Is he going to get it? Right, I think i got to stay here. Yeah, I can't move. Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madam Romanski would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Okay, now we do run into her. I, I, I knew you talked to her once more. Okay, had a moment. There we go. Madam Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts, and you are washed up and forgot. Madam Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. We've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Ah, oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Varlberg? Hans Varlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. So that's what Goodbye, that... James. Oh. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. And that is it for James and Helena Romansky. So goodbye to you both. And time to move on. Uh, anyway, that's the the plane 
What is that for supplies? And this is not the way. Okay. There we go. That's the way. Oh, who's that sitting there? Who is it, everybody? Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate. Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah. Uh. Okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. <laughs> I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker? Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Varlberg. I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilen. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now. And I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away. On the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane... It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. 
See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. Oops. Okay, that is it for Siberia. That is the end of it. I'm gonna let these credits roll. Give these guys credits. Uh, credit where it's due. They put a lot of effort into this game, so they deserve it. So, that's it. Um, sorry, by the way, in the middle of that cutscene. And even in last episode's cutscene, it gets dark. Um, I don't know. I'm on the... I'm playing the... Uh, the Switch. Oops. The Switch. So. Um... It does that after a few minutes, and of course these things take ages when I'm talking. There we go. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I really liked it. I liked this game. Obviously, I wouldn't have played it again if I didn't. Um, it was very unique, and some of parts of it I obviously did not like. The angles we talked about, the dialogue, way too heavy with fluff dialogue. It really wasn't necessary. But overall, I really enjoyed it, and there are two other games. I started playing 2, I stopped to do this again and, re and record it, so I'm going to start up that one again. So this one actually was in 2002, the sequel, the second one is in 2004, and the third one's not until 2017. So that wasn't that long ago. Um, but the other two, the first two were ages ago, that's why you saw the, um, that's why you saw the graphics the way they are and all that. And it's probably just why the, everything was a little, you know, why there was some flaws with it. But anyway. Overall, I really hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I will see you guys again for the sequel and for other games on this channel. So, have a great day. See you next time.